Well, I've uh, stripped the right wing down to its uh, all its components again and spent many hours deburring all the holes and there are thousands of them. Um, and it took quite some time, but it's all done now. So I've got all the aft ribs all deburred. Um, I've now drilled out the tooling hole in the forward end of the aft ribs, each one of them, and uh, fitted them with uh, a half inch rubber grommet, which has a 10 mil hole through the middle, which is going to take the plastic conduit for the electrical wires for the wingtip lights. Um, we'll see more of that later. Um, so there it is, a pile of bits. Doesn't look much like a wing anymore. There's the assembly plan and the riveting instructions for each of the ribs. Um, so that's the next job to do. In the meantime, I've also done something else. I've um, put together the main Aerolon um, drive parts. So we've got the long drive rod that will go from the control stick to the bell crank. And then we've got the short ones which go from the bell crank to the aerolon and that will drive the aerolons so I've assembled both I cut the tube to length using a standard pipe cutter and that proved to be very successful it was easy it gave me a nice square end which required almost no um, finishing at all and um, I've yet to actually fit the um, reducing bushes into the ends on these drive poles but I have done it on these two um, I did these using the vice um, but actually I will use the hydraulic press for the rest um, it's more controllable and um, I think it'll be uh, easier to do so uh, now it's a question of copper clicoing the frame together which is the next job and um, then we'll start putting some um, rivets in and see how it goes. More later. So there we are. The ribs are riveted to the main spar. It's taken quite a long time considering that there are only six rivets per set of ribs. Um, but I wanted to get it right. Um, I've had to drill out one which I wasn't happy with it wasn't sitting down absolutely perfectly but uh, now I'm happy with them all um, we can go on to the next stage which is to attach the rear spar um, so I'll rivet that one on and then we'll uh, square the entire thing up so there we go so three and a half hours later the uh, ribs are riveted to the main spar so after four and a half hours of uh, riveting and lining up and checking and double checking and triple checking we've got the basic wing box assembly all together all 13 sets of ribs are in place that includes the wing roots ribs as well um, gonna do another tightening session on the bolts uh, just to make sure they're 100 percent 
tight and uh, double check it all again but uh, it's looking good I'm going to have a look at putting in the plastic conduit which is going to run through the aft wing section for the cables for the wingtip lights um, I'm putting the conduit in now but I shan't be putting any cables into it because weight is a bit of an issue with getting this one registered in France so I'm going to get it registered and then pull the cables through afterwards so I've made sure that I've got a plan for getting the cables through which is why I run them through the aft section of the wing rather than what most people do which is the forward section which means I can do it in one straight run straight to the light but there we go four and a half hours work it's all square got the uh, special strap back in place again keeping the uh, the wing box square to the main spar and everything's leveled and happy so that's all for today i think um and we'll see what tomorrow brings a little bit extra actually just before i go i've put the conduit in i couldn't resist actually um putting it through and it is actually um not electrical conduit but i've used some plastic tube which is used for press fit water pipes um, it's 10 mil outside diameter um, it's very light and um, it fits through the grommets absolutely perfectly the internal diameter of the grommet is nine and a half millimeters and the outside of the tube is 10 millimeters so when you push it through you get a nice tight secure fit and to ease it through i used good old wd-40 i put some of that on a kitchen towel and wiped it on the outside of the tube and uh, pushed it through and there we go so we have a continuous straight line from the wing tip to the wing root um the actual lamp is going to be in this area here there's the end of the main spar and the widest point of the wing is about here and so it's going to be mounted there so we should be able to pull a cable through that um, I'll probably put a, uh, a tie through the middle of it, a piece of string through the middle of it before I seal up the wing. And then when we drill the end to fit the uh, mounting for the wingtip light, we can use the string to pull the cable through. And uh, Bob's your uncle, but that's really, really good. It's strong. It's not going to vibrate. It's uh, nice and tight right through the length of the wing. Don't know what we're going to do at this end yet because I'm not really sure how we're going to get into the aircraft. Um, we'll see. Uh, but uh, once we've built up the uh, that bit of the fuselage, we should be able to see what we're going to do with it. Um, if necessary, I can always chop it off before the root rib and come in through one of the other holes or drill an extra one or something. We'll see. Anyway, wing box section riveted and electrical conduit for the wires fitted. See you later. On to the next bit, which is to... Uh, reattach the upper aft wing skin so there it is all clear coat in place and uh, i was really pleased all the holes lined up 
and it went back on um, I've checked it for square checked it for level at both ends and everything's good remembered to uh, reattach the um, Aerolon hinge which is also good and so now it's time to pop some rivets in so um, I shall fill up with rivets. Uh, there's quite a lot. There's about, uh, uh, I think it's over 200, maybe 250 rivets to put in. I'll let you know after I've done it. More later. Well, 200 odd rivets later, and we have a fully riveted top aft wing skin apart from the little bit on the end here which is where the uh, stiffener goes on and we can't put that on yet um, so we're fully riveted across the, uh, the rear we remembered to put the um, hinge on and we're now fully riveted up to the front edge we can't do the last row obviously because that's where the front skin attaches to so the next thing to do is to flip it over re-level it all again and uh, do the bottom skin and uh, we can have a look down through the middle there we go that's looking right down through the centre and you can see the electrical conduit sticking out for my wiring. Great! Well, onwards and upwards as they say. So, Katie and I have flipped the wing up the other way and so now the riveted on side is downmost. And uh, I've been along and I've checked every single rivet that's been put in so far. And they are all perfect. And everything is sitting down nicely and uh, tight. No loose bits anywhere. No deformed rivets. It's all good news. So, what's next then? Well, these bolts over here and the ones at the other end we will not be able to get to once I have put the bottom skin on. So, I'm going to go round and tighten, or re-tighten, let's say, everything that's going to be locked inside and uh, just make sure it's all a hundred percent and then i've got some paint and i'm going to lock the threads even though they've got nylock nuts on i'm going to lock the threads with some paint and um, then it's time to put the other skin on but um, it's looking extremely good i am very 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 pleased with it the uh, other skin has gone on really well and uh, so a little uh, bit of work and then uh, more riveting well I'm actually starting to think that I might actually know what I'm doing of course that's when you make mistakes and everything goes horribly wrong but pop the uh, the bottom skin on um, the wing has been re-leveled and uh, all the holes line up which is quite remarkable um, I haven't had any problem putting the uh, Clecos back in it's all going back in exactly the same place as it did before um, and it all looks very good um, so once I'm a hundred percent certain that everything's good 
I will start putting some rivets in. Um, but uh, quite pleased. It's all looking very good. And uh, I'll let you know what happens. Well, that's the underside of the uh, aft wing fully riveted apart from where the doubler goes on and obviously the uh, the holes at the uh, on the top of the spar or the bottom of the spar where the front skin attaches but apart from that all the rivets are in and it's looking pretty good to me i'm very pleased with it i only had one rivet that I had to replace. I drilled it out and uh, redid it because it wasn't sitting down perfectly. Um, so I replaced that one. And uh, I must say it's, it is looking very nice. Of course the difficult bit is putting the forward skin on and getting that looking nice and uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a play with that and uh, I wasn't happy with it when it was on uh, when I did the pilot holes so um, I'm gonna try pulling it round the other way um, and attach it to the top and pull it round to the bottom uh, see if it fits any any better or holds the uh, the shape better the problem I was getting was it was peeling away from the leading edge and obviously when I try and rivet it it's going to put dents in um, I have modified the uh, the ribs the forward ribs a little bit because uh, the other thing I noticed was um, it was putting a dent in the forward skin um where it went round the corner of this so what i've done is i've cut them at an angle all of them to allow this to flex and uh hopefully that will stop that from happening but we'll see um i'm gonna have to put in the pito tubes before I stick the skin on um, because it's just out of arm's reach to get to, <laughs> to there. although obviously you've got the inspection hole to get in but um, uh, I think I'll put them in and secure them um, before I rivet the skin in place and there we go so aft bottom skin attached the total time we've spent uh, constructing the right hand wing so far it's about 85 hours in total um, still got the uh, to attach the um, forward skin and also construct the air along and the flaps so it's going to be over a hundred hours to do the complete uh, right wing oh i've got to also attach the uh, wing tip as well so we're getting there and uh, when i've made some more progress i'll make another video see you later